It's always a party at Patchwork, so let's get this party started. Woot, woot. Hi everyone, this is Julie from Patchworks, and I am so excited that you're joining us for another Must Sew TV tonight here at Patchworks. So I see a bunch of you hopping on, which is awesome, especially because we didn't get our um, calendar reminder up there until, oh, about an hour ago, and I know we missed last week, so thanks so much for your patience. If any of you are able to share on Facebook to our Patchworks party, that would be fabulous, fabulous help. And of course, if you wanted to share just to your general uh, friend page, that also is awesome because the more the merrier to be able to watch us and see all sorts of great new stuff. So I am here solo tonight, so I'm going to do my best monitoring the comments and sharing links, but I have so much new stuff to show you. I am so excited about all of those great things. And oh, yes, so Barb, great to see that you made on time. Hi, Deb, hi, Mary, hi, Julie, hi, Sally. Hello to everyone, and thank you so much for commenting that you are here. So first thing, we are going to talk about that we have a fun quilt behind us. So, you know, it's getting to be that Halloween time, and I just thought, let us play with some really fun Halloween. Pam came in earlier this week and asked us about our easy panel worksheet, which I haven't talked about for a while. And I said, that is a great opportunity for something I want to share with you this week. So I went ahead and I picked a couple fabrics and then I walked over to Angie downstairs and I said, pretty, pretty, please, can you quick quilt this up so that we can show it to everybody? And she said, no problem. So she did that and then um, I was able to trim it up and then we're, we're gonna vote to see what color binding we wanna use. <gasps> oh, super exciting. So this panel right here, this is our Witch's Night Out panel. And I am going to share with you Um, what we did. Now the one thing I want to show you here is we just used this center motif. So the cool thing about this basic panel worksheet is that you can have it work however you want it to work. So the original panel has these little squares on the bottom. So you'll be seeing probably next week something exciting that we've done with the leftovers, but for tonight you just get to see the fun little little panel quilt that we made. For our borders, we have a two and a half inch border and a six and a half inch border. Why two and a half? Well, you know, we use two and a half for a lot of different things. That was a great measurement. And then if I'm making a little border, sometimes if we go smaller, like an inch, it is too small. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to sew with. And then for the six and a half on the outside, why six and a half? Well, it is the width of our Big Daddy ruler, and I thought, you know, why not? That's a great measurement. So that's why we came up with that. So let's take a peek overhead, and I'm just gonna walk through the worksheet with you. And if you wanna make it just like us, well, I'd be more than happy to hook you up with some amazing fabric to do that. And if you wanted to pick out your own fabric, I'd also love to help you with that. So let's take a peek overhead. And then we will talk about our bundle of the week. Oh my goodness. So. I don't know, can you see this kind of, sorta, ish? We'll write it in and then I will lift it up so that you can see it. I'm not gonna play around with the focus because I don't wanna give us a headache, right? Right, all right, so this is the worksheet here that is available in store. And if you are um, from afar, I'd also be more than happy to include it in your order. And we show you on the back here what it kind of looks like as a little worksheet. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we want to measure the trimmed size of our panel. So for this one, I trimmed it to 23 by 33 and a quarter, okay? 
Now, why 33 and a quarter? Well, the reason why it's 33 and a quarter is that when I trimmed it, I trimmed based on an equal measurement from this little diamond at the top here. So I just squared it up based on that. And so that is the beauty of this particular pattern is that you square up your panel however you want to, and then you measure it, and that's how you write your pattern. <gasps> What you can also do if you don't want to write your own pattern, you just square it up and then you come back to us and we'll help you figure out the math. All right. So that was that one. Then we're going to put on four two and a half inch strips all the way around. So what are we going to do? We are going to cut two and a half by 23, right? Because that's this number right here. And then two strips, 33 and a quarter. And the cool thing about this is that we're using cornerstones. So really we're just taking, uh, we don't have to do any fancy math for that. All right, so then we sew it, right? We sew on, we sew side, side, and then we connect the cornerstones, two and a half inch squares. Then we sew it on top and bottom, just kind of like that. And then, we're gonna cut four six and a half inch strips for the outer border. Now, because, um, so this one here, this is within a width of fabric, so we don't need to do anything crazy. So that's pretty awesome. And we've done the math for you. So it's the width plus two plus two, and that is 27. And then the length will be 37 and a quarter. Ha, huh, pretty cool. All right, and then for our backing, I can tell you you're gonna need two and two thirds for this one, but oftentimes three yards is great for that. So, super, super awesome. We can help you with the math for any of these, whether you make it big or small. So I hope that is kind of fun. Put it together with this fabric here, this fun little skulls guys there, and this fun thing. Now, I'm not gonna turn off the lights, but it's glow in the dark. Isn't that fun? Ah, glow in the dark. All right, so what kind of binding should we do with it? Well, you could do all sorts of different things, but you know what? I wanna use some bias binding on a roll because, well, it's simple. And this is a fun little project, and what a great way to try out a new product. So if you've never used it, it uh, you buy it by the yard, and it is $2.19 a yard. You can buy it by the quarter of a yard. Super nice. We have this orange here. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, orange, you can kind of see that. Or this purple one. So this purple, this is a thatched. Ooh, ah, oh. I think I like, well, I can't tell you what I like. So let's see one more time. Orange or purple. All right, you're gonna be the decider of what we're going to do. So are you team orange or team purple? Whoa. Let me know in the comments and one of you that gives me an answer is going to win a $10 gift card. What? A $10 gift card to our Patchworks website. So you want to let me know, are you team orange or team purple? All right. And we will do uh, the drawing. I'm not able to do it quite live here, so I will announce it at 10 o'clock tonight. And if it's too late, you just log in tomorrow morning to see if you are the winner. And then we'll make sure that we get your all your details so that uh, we can send you the code to be able to use that $10 coupon on our website. What? Oh, so exciting. All right. And because it's also super exciting. Oh, so that's 10 p.m. Thursday, October 12th. All right. Super exciting. So that's a fun little guy there. And we'll talk about, um, you'll be seeing more Halloween things. Also want to share with you a quick note, just putting it in your head. A week from Saturday, 
We are having a trick or treat, a uh, walk on the plank trick uh, from four to six on that Saturday. So not this Saturday, but I believe the 21st. So you can come out, you can bring the littles. We're trying to figure out how we can stay open while we're giving out uh, some trick or treat candy. So that'll be super fun. We'll have more information on that next week. But if you want a reason to get out and have some fun, that might be fun. All right. So now let's see, what do we have? Ooh, and keep those binding color options coming in. Are you team orange or team purple? Let's look at the bundle of the week. Bundle of the week. Isn't this one fun? Oh, we had so much fun putting this one together. We have some confetti dots, some paper dots, some metallic spark in here. All sorts of really, really great things. I call it a Ruby Star stash builder. So nothing that you necessarily want to use uh, individually. I mean, sorry, alone but it would be something that you'd want to use with your different collections. So super, super fun. Remember for our bundle of the week, a fat stack is 12 fat quarters. It is normally 24, I'm sorry, it's normally $39, but our bundle of the week is only $24.99. And so I'm just bringing over this stack here. So this is a current line, this is Sunbeam which is a beautiful Ruby Star line. And just look at how great added up here. Oh, and I just love the added up. And I just have to think, I haven't read the history on it, but wouldn't you think that added up might have something to do with our beloved Violent Femme song for added up? Who knows? I always sing it whenever I cut that fabric. So super fun, super exciting. $24.99 while supplies last in store and online. But as I'm looking to get you that link, I don't know that I put the link up there. Huh. So right after this, um, I will put it up there, but let me know in the comments if you had needed this. All right. Next up, I wanted to share with you since I missed last week, I want to share with you the, um, our bundle of the week that we shared last week because we still have a full selection of them as I suspected that we would. So always know that if we happen to miss a must sew TV, we will be posting still our bundle of the week because Heidi always keeps me on track and make sure that we have a bundle even if we have to be preempted because of life. All right, so look at these amazing red and green metallics for Christmas. I know, I know. It's getting to be that time that it's time for holiday sewing, right? How many of you are, how many of you have already started your holiday sewing? How many of you are done with your holiday sewing for 2023? How many of you haven't even started yet? So if you haven't started yet, now is a pretty good time to get started. It's the middle of October. We still have a really great selection of holiday fabrics. And I also, to help you out, I took any of the little bit older Christmas that had been in our sale room, and I moved it out to the center of the store by our table of chaos to be able to help uh, invigorate you to get started on some Christmas sewing. All right, so let us look overhead at last week's bundle. Oh, I like Kathy's response here. She says, done, haven't even started. <laughs> All right, so, and that is all right. So whatever brings you joy, 
is what you should do. Look at these great fabrics, aren't they great? So once again, um, bundle of the week was $39, now $24.99. Okay, really great classic fabrics here. Can use them alone, mix them with things, and a couple really great key pieces. Super awesome. All right, so that was last week's, and that is on the front page of our website. So we've gotten through our bundles of the week. It is October, and we have a new Zootropolis animal to share with you. So Lisa was able to get these really, really awesome characters made up for us. And she is back at the shop, which is super exciting. So you'll wanna make sure to come in and see her. We have two new animals here. We have Becky the beaver and Charlie the cheetah. So let's look overhead at those. Look at this. Oh, you need to see overhead. You don't want to see me. So we have Becky the beaver and Charlie the cheetah. <gasps> oh, look at those. Aren't they cute? Now this guy here, so for those of you who are unfamiliar with the Zootropolis layout, oftentimes they have applique shapes that go over sashings or different things, extend beyond the block. So this little party hat here goes beyond, and so then this is the pom-pom puff that will be put on after. So what Lisa wanted to share is rather than trying to put on your puff before you've connected it to the sashing, before you've pieced it in the block to the sashing, just go ahead and leave it loose. So leave the paper back of the fusible on it Pin it behind or somewhere else on your block just so that you don't lose it. But rather than trying to put it on and then lose it somewhere along the way or have it be manipulated in a weird way. Okay, does that make sense? I'm gonna put this on there. There we go. So you're gonna to wanna to leave that undeterred. Now the other thing is that look at here on this stitching. She used some pretty cool variegated thread to embellish the tail, and I just think that's super cool. So she did a triple stitch just to add some texture to the tail, and then her satin stitch on the edge. Super fun. And then she did some French knots by hand for the freckles. So we have the individual block kits available, as well as we have enough of all of the pieces together if you had wanted to grab everything. So remember that the block kits have all of your fabrics needed to make these individual blocks, but you need to buy the book separate, and you will also need your fusible as well as stabilizer. You can, of course, make the whole quilt, or you can work on making smaller projects. Lisa shared with us a really cute t-shirt that she made, and then I'm gonna flip it inside out to show you um, some of the stabilizers that's still on it. So you can have a grown-up t-shirt, a little t-shirt, Oh, look at this. Isn't this adorable? It is so cute. So this is the cute little snake with an ice cream cone. Oh my goodness, so super cute. You can make pillows, you can embellish things, make sweatshirts, you can put this on other quilts. Just really, your, it's, you're only limited by your imagination as to what you can do with these. Now, one of the other really cool things that we wanted to share with you is how to use your stabilizers. 
And so when you're working with these, and you'll, you'll be able to stop in to see this in store, is that we have our traditional stabilizer, which helps keeps everything from moving or the machine eating your fabric when you do your satin stitch. Really, really important. And even more important if you're going to be appliquing on a knit top. The other thing that Lisa did for this particular shirt, which is not something she uses on her quilt blocks, but she used a fusible interfacing behind the knit to give additional stabilization when working on the t-shirt, okay? So we want to make sure the most important thing so that everything lays flat and that you're really happy with your work is that you properly stabilize when you do your machine applique. So if you're going to be going on a knit top, make sure to have some added stabilization and we recommend using a fusible interfacing in addition to your stabilizer that you use on all of your quilting blocks. And let's just see. Oh, so cute, so cute. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so that is our Zootropolis 2. Next up, we are going to talk about some new fabrics that we have in the store. I know you just hate it when I show you new fabric. So we have so many new fabrics and right now, oh my gosh, I'm like sitting on like a dozen boxes that I haven't been able to unbox that got here yesterday. So the store, I'm like have everything moving around. So if you come in tomorrow or you, you were in yesterday or today and you're like, what is happening at that place? It's because we're just moving everything around. We're so excited about all the new fabric that we have. So the first fabric line I'm going to show you is Game Night. And this is a novelty collection, red, white, and black, that, as you guessed it, is game themed. So, and the other thing that I really like about this one is that it's not too childish. So it's really great for uh, some accent pieces or if you like to, if you have a card club or like to have game night with your friends, kind of fun. So let's look overhead and we'll take a peek at these fabrics. So chess pieces, okay? When's the last time you've seen chess pieces on fabric? So this is really uh, a nice tiny print. You could use it simply as, you know, polka dots, but it's really kind of cool. We have black and white checkered squares. So not game specific, you know, this would be a great checkerboard or chessboard. We have some tossed chess, stylized chess pieces. Some dominoes, some dice, some backgammon board, okay? Or simply a really nice red, black, and white piece. Traditional red and white dice. Our suits of cards. The reverse of our chess pieces. Black with white pieces. We have a tossed piece here that has our backgammon, our cards, our dice, our checkers, chess pieces and then some dominoes. So we have 11 different pieces in this collection. I think we're waiting on a couple more. I think it shipped incomplete. We do also have some other game-related items in the store if you were looking for some of those. I do have some inspiration for you for what you'd be able to do with some of these things, which is really fun. And I have from the Wyndham Fabrics game, uh, Wyndham Fabrics website, I have some inspiration to share with you. So I'm going to share my screen and then I have some links that I'm going to share with you. So this first one here is a um, 
could be wall hangings and table runner, which would be really appropriate. So let's see if I can share my screen. I just love technology here. Game time. Share. Share. There we go. There you go. So this particular pattern is designed by our friend uh, Lisa Swenson Rubel. So it's super fun. So Lisa Swenson Rubel uh, and her mom used to live in the area and her mom frequently shops here by phone now, by phone and by mail order. So super fun. We help curate things for her. So fun to see a pattern by Lisa. And as you can see on this game time here, so you have this table runner, which is 57 by 17, and the pennants are 7 by 15 each. I could also see these as being interesting. They could be oblong mug rugs or something. So if you had a table full of game players, you could make these and have them be the little snack mat so that we can keep everything neat and tidy off of the game table. Lots of fun. Okay. Next up, we have Checkmate, and this is a quilt. Let me share this page with you, and I'm also going to share you that link. So we have some applique in this Checkmate quilt. It is 61 by 75. This isn't necessarily fabric specific, um, but kind of cool to be able to play with that. And you can see, we're just going to scroll down here, this longer pattern that you do have the applique pieces right here, all full scale, pretty cool. Um, so you could also make some other items with it if you had just wanted to pull out those chess pieces and make um, placemats or table runners or such. So really nice. And then the last quilt I want to share with you is Deck of Cards. And Deck of Cards is, well, it's kind of reminiscent to a pattern that Trudy Hughes, who is the founder of Patchworks, had and called Fun Patches. This is uh, rectangles with a shadow box behind it. And, you know, this is really great to use for your novelty pieces to just be able to showcase great pieces of fabric without doing anything superly or overly complex with it but be able to show off the fabrics. So um, this quilt pattern is finishes 67 by 82. So I hope you like these three different projects that I shared with you. Let me know which one was your favorite. Uh, the game night fabric will be appearing online shortly and the Fat Quarter collection is $35.75. If you had wanted us to custom kit any of those quilts that you saw, just let us know. We'd be more than happy to assemble a curated bundle for you to go along with your pattern. Other new fabric we have is Blueberry Delight by Bunny Hill. So this fabric, oh, who likes blue and white? I like blue and white. So this blue and white fabric, new to the shop, we do have, uh, so we cut fat quarter bundles. We also have half yard bundles. We could cut you yard towers if you'd like. We have the pre-cuts that we'll share with you in just a minute. So let's look at this pretty, pretty fabric. Look at these great blues. Oh, they're so pretty. So this is Bunny Hill. And Bunny Hill often has some cutesy pieces attached to it. But, I mean, this is just classic blue and white. Little stripe here. It has a little bit of a denim -y look to it. And I love the scale on these, that these are not too large. So sort of a, I don't know, we call it a delft blue. A little bit of powdery, dusty blue. Not too dusty. And the white is more of a um, off-white. 
little creamy without being too creamy. And here we have a little accent with a little taupe in it. That almost looks like a little coffee bean. Little gingham plaid here. Well, kind of gingham y. That little beige. Beautiful collection. This is 32 amazing pieces. The Fat Quarter Tower is 104. The pre cuts that we have. So we have the layer cake. Charm Square and Jelly Roll, as well as the Fat Quarter Pack, the Half Yard Tower, and all of the yardage. Pretty. Yes, indeed. Indeed. We love it. So, classic, classic, classic. And then, um, oh, I see a comment on here. How does it go with the Cascade fabric? Let me quick um, grab a Cascade and show that to you. So Cascade is a Three Sisters fabric line that we just got in as well. So this is similar. Let's see how it looks together. I love it when different fabrics can you know, complement each other. So you can see here that this is a little bit grayer, if that's a word. The deep, it's just a little bit different tone. The backgrounds, however, would transition perfectly. Okay, so if we pull up this guy here, you can see this is a little bit creamier, but these backgrounds go super well together. And even without the line, this great traditional background is beautiful to add to your stash. So, two blue and cream collections in the store right now for your shopping pleasure. Super awesome. All right. So, open where this one comes from. I don't know where that one came from. All right, we'll stack these back up. Not gonna make too much of a mess. I do a pretty good job making a mess here. It's fun playing in fabric. All right, let's see what else do I have to show you today? I got lots to show you. We've been cutting and folding and doing Next on my list to share with you, ooh, Jackie shared with me our temperature quilt update. How many of you are working on the temperature quilt right now? Or I should say, how many of you started a temperature quilt? How many of you are still working on the temperature quilt? Even if you started and aren't aren't currently working on it. There's still tons of time. It's a really fun project. I'm going to grab our current progress here. And a special thank you to Jackie for always sharing her beautiful work with us. It's really fun seeing. So this, the smaller version is much easier for me to hold to share with you. So you can see how it transitions. This is the grunge version, and it's a small scale. It's like a half scale version. Isn't that pretty? So this was January. This is September. Okay, so it's fun to see how it all goes together. And if you have a palette that blends, it just turns into something super pretty that then has an alternate meaning to it with it meaning the temperatures. And then the large scale version that's done with spotted. And so you're not gonna be able to see all of it, but you'll be able to see some of it here. Jackie has gone ahead and she 
put the actual months of the year on here. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this without knocking stuff over. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, look at this. So you can't see the full range, but you still can see some. Look at this. Dun, dun, dun. Yay! Ooh, Kathy's thinking about starting a temperature quilt. Ooh, I like that you're thinking about it. So this particular uh, temperature quilt is inspired by the Jaybird Temperature Quilt Along, which she hosts uh, on her website and we support with her fabric and her rulers. We have all of them here. Julie Herman is also um, the owner of all of the Lazy Girl Designs products. And super exciting, she announced this past week that she is releasing a large version of a super lazy angle. And guess what? We'll be carrying it. So she uh, asked us if we would like to be one of the first shops to carry that ruler. And so while we won't be getting it ahead of like the rest of the world, we are in on the first release of those. So we're super excited. We're expecting delivery, I believe, end of November, beginning of December. So let us know if you want to be included in that original order. I believe I have 24 coming, but um, if we have more than that of you who are looking to get it in that first batch, we'll be able to up that order, no problem. And she also is showing three different patterns specifically with that ruler, uh, in addition to some other patterns that have been around for a while and we will be stocking those patterns as well. So let us know if you wanted in on the fun. So this is our temperature quilt and thank you to Jackie for sharing your beautiful calendar work with us. In the sort of um, continuing themes of things that we've been talking about for different types of quilt alongs. We have the latest pouch patterns from Solux Designs. And Solux, they've been releasing a different pouch a month. And you may have been seeing different ones floating around online. And Jackie was gracious enough to share with, with us the pouches that she made. So, very different fabrics from the different pieces. Oh, and I'm just, as I'm switching over here, quick going back, Linda wants to know, do I have a preview of what that ruler looks like? I don't have it handy of what it looks like. I'll be able to share that with you um, because yes, I do have graphics and all the information on the ruler to be able to share that. I should have had that ready to go um, but I just, in the last moment as I was talking about the Julie Herman temperature quilt, realized I probably should plug that in. So I'll make sure to get that stuff out for sure next week, if not earlier. All right, so triangle pouch. You can see here, this is the version that is on the cover of the pattern. It is a super fun little pouch here and this particular one is and this is the pattern size is made with tulip pink fabric some everglow and these are everglow scraps that Jackie had from a different project super fun goes together really nice and this particular one uses the Atkinson designs 14 inch zippers this one is using scraps. So after you've made version number one, you could simply piece together fabric to the proper size of the shape that needs to be achieved before you assemble the pouch. And Jackie had some 
interesting shapes and just thought she wanted to sew them all together so that she could do that. So that's super fun. Thank you, Jackie, for sharing that. So we have these patterns, Everglow fabrics, as well as the full range of Atkinson design patterns in the shop. We'll be talking about, and they'll be releasing the Autumn Breeze pouch. We have this pattern in stock. And Jackie made a bunch of these, and before she gives them away, she shared them with us, so I'm going to share them with you. Let's look over here. So, this is the Autumn Breeze and Jackie used her, she hooped it, and she used her embroidery machine to quilt it. How fun is that? Super fun. So, you know, when you're working on little projects like this, always decide, you know, you can always add in different things that you want to learn. So if you want to learn how to use your machine for uh, quilting, use it. If you want to figure out how to do some, you know, walking foot quilting, do that if you want to use your your quilt foot, you know, your darning foot to play with something. If you want to do different ruler work, all sorts of fun things. Oh my goodness, what do we all have here? Oh, I should have I should have grabbed the different patterns. Oh my gosh. She just added in all sorts of really fun things. <gasps> okay, so we do have all of these patterns. I just don't have them with me. And let me take this caption away so that you don't think that these are all Autumn Breeze pouches. All right, so this is another, this is the August Pencil Me In pouch. Super fun. <gasps> I love this black and white background. Doesn't that make the pencil just pop? And the one that we have in store has our name in it that was just um, stitched out on there. That was pretty fun. This is a, the July sunflower pouch. So the one that we have hanging is the traditional gold sunflower on a denim background. And this is just super cute. We have the Spools scrap basket. Super cool little basket that you can have. And can't you even see these little Orville inspired spools and in a little basket like you could use this as a treat basket. You could use this as a gift basket. You could have this be your packaging for all of your Christmas gifts. You could make everyone one of these and then put little fun things inside of it. This is the spools scrap basket without the spools. So this is just, you can use that same shape. And what else, what other note? She used her embroidery machine to quilt this as well. Super fun. If you have any scraps left of the Wisconsin State Shop Hop fabric, you could make a candy cutie pouch with it. Super cute. We have the Shining Star pouch. We have both, we have this pattern in stock as well. And then there is the Spring Posy pouch which we have the patterns for this as well. So you can see they're a little different, similar but different. It's just fun for making all sorts of really fun things. So thank you, Jackie, for sharing all of those. And I should have paid a little bit more attention before I showed you so that I had all of the patterns just at the ready to be able to share with you. But know that we have at least one of all of these other patterns in stock if you are inspired by anything that you saw here so far. All right. So those are our pouches that we have. Next up, I have just a couple more things that I want to share with you. In the new stuff arena, I had posted a couple weeks ago that there was a really cute little needle minder that we had in stock. And everybody went just crazy over it so that we were able to order more of it. And now we have from our reorder one left. And I have to show you, isn't this cute? Oh, let's look overhead at it. It's so cute. 
So this is the Quilted Witch, which is an enamel needle minder. And it is a little bit larger. It is very magnetic. It's $28.99, but you can put your pins on it. So you can, you, you can attach it to a binder. You can attach it to yourself. You can simply put it on anything you like, your, your scrap bag. But super fun, and I just love the little happy witch with her magic wand of a needle. Super, super cute. So we have one of those in stock. And because the needle minder that we had was so well received and people had been asking about other needle minders, the current other needle minder that we still have in stock is this Prim Star Enamel Needle Minder. And this is $13.98. Super, super cute, a little bit smaller. One of those remaining, and you'll be seeing more needle minders in. So I always, I'm not able to carry everything, but I love it when I hear feedback on something that we bring in so that we can help increase uh, our offerings of a certain section of stuff. The next thing, which is similar to needle minders, only in that it's magnetic. I don't know if you've been hearing any of the buzz about this, but it seems that the quilt world has been taken by storm by the so tight magnetic cutting system. Dun, dun, dun. So, So this so tight magnetic cutting system is a cutting mat that has um, metal on the inside so that magnets stick to it. So why would you use this? Well, you wouldn't use it if you have a pacemaker, um, but what you can use it for is that it helps hold the fabric in place and that can be very helpful for several things. So number one, if your strength isn't what it used to be for holding your ruler down or you're finding that your ruler is slipping all the time, using a ruler like this is really helpful because it helps hold it in place. Um, the other thing that something like this is great for is that if you are cutting out, if you're rotary cutting out a garment, let's say, then this is incredibly helpful because um, you have the magnets instead of pattern weights to be able to hold that down. So let me show you just, um, oh, is this the wrong one? Is this the one that hasn't been opened yet? So I just want to let you know that this is in stock. For anybody who is interested, we'll be setting up official demos um, along the way, but I'd be more than happy to share with you a demo if you stop in to be able to let you try to use it. I'm just going to pull it out here and show you overhead. It has a little carrying case that you can keep using. So you can tote it around and it is a nice ample mat. So I'm going to put it down. The overhead isn't going to sh um, necessarily show you everything. Oh, it shows pretty much. Okay, so the ruler that comes with it has one, two, three, four, five, six magnets already in it, okay? So you can use your regular ruler, but this is a six and a half inch strip ruler. I'll just show you how that works with it, okay? So I just have some fabric. And I'm just laying there for purposes here. Okay. And you can see how this ruler just clings to the table. Okay. There are some booster magnets. 
It includes a dozen booster magnets. And the booster magnets do just that, help increase the magnetic grip. You can also use the boosters on your regular ruler, or, okay? But you can see here now, it's really hard to move this, okay? So, I still want to practice good cutting by putting my hand on here, but I'm very, very lightly putting my hand on there. I still got to cut. I got to use pressure with my cutting, right? So, really nice. And see, I'm pulling, I'm tugging on this, and it's still holding tight. I'm sure if I yanked it out of there, it would. But I just think that's really, really cool, right? So, um, Cindy wants to know, how much is this delightful bundle? So, this delightful bundle that includes the mat, the ruler, and 12 of these add-on pieces is $374.99. We have, uh, we've sold several already. We currently have an additional one in stock in addition to our demo model. And we'll be continuing to stock this, especially through the holiday. So you'll wanna make sure to put this on your list uh, because this is a really great item. Now, if you've been watching Teresa from Sew Together Tuesday, our cuddle person, Yesterday, or two days ago, she, she was using Cuddle with this. So I'm going to grab a little scrap of Cuddle to show you how this can help hold it in place. And once again, you'd be able to try that as well. And just to share with you the fabrics that she used in her Sew Together Tuesday demo, we do have, well, we have the Sherpa in an off-white, in ivory, and then the buffalo plaid so that you can make your very own Stormy Cromer hat. So super fun being able to see her do that. And let me share with you cutting on cuddle using a regular ruler. And let me just quick grab a regular ruler with the tool. So if you're going to be using a regular ruler, you want to make sure that you add in your magnets, okay? Because it will take a little bit. Okay, so this is our regular, of the mat can just be a regular mat. But if we're going to use just a regular ruler, you will want more. So you can see here that there's a little bit of slip with just those so we could add in some more magnets to be able to get the full the full effect. You also can use your pin minders as additional magnets. So Kathy had asked what is a pin minder? And a pin minder, I'm not going to pull it out right now, but a pin minder is something that you can wear that you when you're sewing attach your needle to, okay? So if you've ever seen anyone who is stitching there and then has a thing on their lapel with a needle or some pins on it, that's what that is. So you always need to wear it with, ca uh, with caution. Okay, so you can see here now this plain ruler has like, there's a little bit of give in it, but it's not where it was. So it's not quite as good as their ruler that has the magnet in it, but it's still really nice. And I'm going to do a slight pug pull on the other fabric, and it's not going anywhere. So that's really cool. All right, so then I'm going to show you with the minky. And this was layered up, so I went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers of fabric when I did that. So that was pretty thick. All right, so now we have Minky. This is a single layer of Minky, um, cuddle, digital cuddle. Okay, let's just put in some guys here. Right, we'll put back in all of our guys. It's not going anywhere.
And if I wanted to do a pattern piece, like I'm just going to go around a curve, I can put down, well, let's pretend this is my pattern piece, okay? You can lay your pattern piece down there. and carefully cut around your pattern piece as well, right? You still want to practice good cutting, so I don't want you hurting yourself. That'd be bad. I'm trying to stay out of the camera way, so let's see if we did that. Dun, dun, dun. Pretty good. Okay. So if you were doing just a straight pattern, that could be really helpful. All right, so that is the sew magnetic cutting system. It is not inexpensive, but it's a really amazing tool. And I, the one thing that I really like about it is, is that it just elevates the same methods that we've been using for cutting to the next level for uh, to be able to assist if we need a little bit of assistance. Um, even if we don't need assistance, if we're, it, it assists with being able to help hold things in place. So anyhow, I think it's pretty cool. You've seen a bunch of different reviews on it. Um, if you've seen it um, being shown on, I know Bayani did a thing on it, Julie Herman did a thing on it, So with Together Tuesday just did a thing on it. We'll be doing more work with it, but feel free to come on in if you wanted a hands-on demonstration to be able to try it yourself. So, looking forward to seeing you with that. Denise wants to know, will we be getting in the French General Line Antoinette next year? We just got in the French General Line that's in the front of the store right now, name escapes me. I have not yet ordered my next, um, my next fabrics. I'm not sure when the Antoinette line was shown, um, but I know that they're just showing right now some holiday prints. So I'll have to check on that Antoinette line for you to let you know if that is coming in. But do know that we just got in the latest French General Line, I believe I showed it last week, or I mean, sorry, two weeks ago, that we have in stock. And that one is, uh, I think it's Chateau de Chantilly, something like that. It's on our front of our website. All right. Let's see, what else? Okay. So we have been, the only other things that we have, we've been cutting up a storm. So we've been restocking a ton of basics. And so with that, uh, we are remaking up the Tula Essential Bundles. So those are the um, 11 fat core groupings of the Unicorn Poop and Dragon's Breath. We're doing the Tiny Stripes and Tiny Dot Bundles. And we just redid the Neon True Color Dot Stripes bundles. We got back in all of the sorbet coordinates. So we have, there's that beautiful quilt that Heidi put together with the 12 different fabrics. It's a 12 pack quilt. So we have all of those that we're putting back together. We put this super awesome gnome 12 fat quarter bundle together. Really, really cool with these red and black and gray gnomes. So we have that fat quarter bundle. And then we've been putting together a bunch of six single yard sale bundles. So a lot of those are only one ofs. And so for the one ofs, they're just in the store. For the ones that have multiples, you'll see them popping up online, but you know, if you had wanted to pop in, there is really great stuff to see on our table of chaos. So always fun and we want to keep it exciting there. 
You'll be seeing next week as I'm peeking over the edge there to see we have um, a giant, we have nine boxes of flannel that have just come in. Uh, and we have restock, we are going to be restocking uh, some Kona solids as well. So lots of great stuff coming in. And we will keep you posted with all that good stuff. I want to thank you so much for joining us tonight. We have lots of fun with you. As a reminder, make sure to vote on Team Purple or Team Orange for our binding in two hours. I will be uh, sharing with you who will be the winner of that $10 gift card that will be good on our website. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, happy quilting, and we'll see you soon.